she make it clap, clap, clap. We're all gonna die one day. That's why you gotta get your life straight and live right. channel in today's video I'm gonna be sharing my monthly favorites like I know I say it every month but how and why I'm not okay with it but if you guys want to see all the goodies all my fabulous finds for July then please keep watching if you guys enjoy my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe I always love when you guys chat with me down in the comments I love chatting with you guys getting to know you all and you know I will send you a whole paragraph back so definitely let me know if you're loving these videos I think you guys do these are like our favorite videos so leave me some feedback let's get into these faves first I want to start with with let's start with fragrance because you guys know I'm in a very fragrance obsessed mood right now I have still been on my ban see Benita I've been successful I've been smelling fragrance I've been going to the mall and I'm just building my list I'm just getting ready for fall I'm I'm going to successfully complete this no buy and I feel like some people in my life think I'm joking but self-control and exercising restraint is really big for me I was raised with the belief that just because you can have something doesn't mean you need it and just because I can buy a fragrance whenever I want it doesn't mean I need it I do not want to become a hoarder so I have been doing well you guys but in the fall time we will have some fun but let's get into the scents that I've been loving this month. My first fragrance I'm gonna talk about, which I've been meaning to post this on my Instagram, like my singular fragrance review, but this is Simone Andrioli Leisure in Paradise. And that is how it makes me feel. This is a beautiful, sweet, pineapple, lactonic fragrance. To me, this is a bedtime scent. There is something about milk that is so comforting and that probably sounds so weird, especially for myself because I hate milk. I don't enjoy milk at all, but a lactonic fragrance just makes me so calm and comforted. Um, I've been having a lot of indigestion and heartburn this month. I don't know what that's about. So this is the only fragrance I can wear to sleep because everything else that I like for this season is too sharp and intense. Now, this is a coconut forward scent, but it does have a top note of pineapple. I only get pineapple for a few minutes and then it leans into a creamy, yummy, vanilla coconut scent. And I don't like coconut, but I love this. It's really, really good and Look at my dent. I'm doing well, you guys. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> my next baby, uh, probably my number one fragrance of the moment. This is Parfum de Marly, Delina, the OG. I am so happy that I finally secured the original Delina because when I tell you I am so obsessed with this scent, it is perfect for hot weather. I overspray it. Like, I swear my juice is like up to here. And that's a lot for me because at the end of last year, I was literally spraying two to three sprays per wear, but I can't get enough of this. It's so good, it's so strong, it's intense. It's so pretty and feminine without being too light. It's very tart and robust. Ooh, I just can't get enough of it. I love Delina, I do love the other flankers, but the original has been my favorite. And it's so odd because all these years I was like, no, I don't need Delina. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You don't even know what you need. <laughs> Let me check this lash because I don't want to be editing and looking crazy. Okay, keep it cute now. Okay, my next fragrance is Tiziana Terenzi Draco. She make it clap, clap, clap. That's literally always what I think of whenever I hold this bottle. To me, this is like a heliotrope peach sensation. It smells a little metallic to me. It's very masculine. It's not a feminine fruity at all. It probably has some white florals in here, but this is a bold peach scent. Like I imagine this is what Tom Ford's uh, bitter peach smells like to everybody else, but I hate that one. But I love this so much. So beautiful, so intense. I recently had a birthday weekend, which you guys probably saw right before this video. I wore this going out to dinner for my birthday. Amazing, strong, sexy, bold, intense. Like, this is one of my favorite scents ever. It's so androgynous, but masculine leaning, especially for a peach scent. 
it makes my mouth water. That's how good it is. Tiziana Terenzi Draco. I am so, so happy to have this. And what's really funny, you guys, is that all these scents that I'm loving this month were new. So this next scent is the Okcha and Paul Miss Girl. This is from Paul Reacts. He collaborated with Okcha, I think in June. And when I tell you, this has been a favorite of mine. So Paul Reacts created this fragrance with Okcha because he wanted it to be a blend of two of his favorite scents being Maison Francis Kirkjean, Baccarat Rouge 540, and Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Now. I mainly get Lost Cherry. When I first got this fragrance, I was scented in PR by the way, I got all Lost Cherry. The more I wear it and the more it dries down on my skin and develops, I do get a little bit of that Baccarat, but definitely more cherry forward. But I love it because it's cherry with a little something extra special. I love this so much. I would say the only con for me is probably the longevity. It doesn't last too, too long, but it's such a small bottle that I can literally take it with me and reapply it. The scent is just so beautiful. It's Lost Cherry with an edge. I know a lot of people get more Baccarat Rouge 540, but something is wrong with my nose right now. It's since having COVID. But I love this. It's just a good wear everywhere scent. It just makes me feel so... It's like a mood lifter, so I love this one so much. Okay, let's go into skincare. I don't have too many things to share, but... First of all, now y'all know I've been on a natural deodorant kick for probably a year, a little over a year. It has been in the mid to upper 90s here in Atlanta. And let me tell you, um, who doesn't wanna feel like a swamp is me. So I've been using Dove Dry Spray and shout out to Dove because they actually sent me a beautiful PR package and I've been using this. Now, I don't like that it has aluminum in it, but if it's really hot outside, and it's not even that the natural deodorant makes me stink, but because it doesn't have aluminum to control like moisture, it's just a river. And I don't want a river under my arms when I'm outside in 95 plus degree heat. So I've been using Dove Dry Spray. This is my old faithful. I love a dry spray because it's invisible on your skin. Hopefully it doesn't cause me to age and die any more quickly because it's not natural, but I do like it. It's not the best for you, but it is what it is. We're all gonna die one day. That's why you gotta get your life straight and live right. But shout out to Dove because she keeps me in this heat and we are appreciative. My next favorite, uh, one that I love so much, this is the Shawnee Darden Weightless Oil-Free Moisturizer. And if you guys saw my recent Sephora haul in June, you would have seen this product. I do really love the Shawnee Darden peptide moisturizer, but that's for days when I'm not wearing any makeup because it gives me all the glow. But when I am wearing makeup, I like to tone it down a little bit. This is oil free, but it still has a really nice consistency and gives me the hydration I need. This is my new favorite moisturizer for the summer, the spring and summer. Uh, I love it, it's lightweight, it doesn't make me oily or greasy, and I just find that I like Shawnee Darden moisturizers, so shout out to the black owned beauty brands, we love it. Okay, next skincare product is actually a body care. So I've been loving my Necessaire body wash. I mean, as you can see, I'm almost done with this and also you guys if you are looking to use my necessary code this video isn't sponsored but I do have a 10% off coupon code it has changed and I will put it across the screen and down below but the real reason that I'm talking about this is because like I said it's been 95 plus degrees outside here in Atlanta and this eucalyptus scent has just been so calming and fresh when it's really hot outside I don't want to smell super super sweet and candy like and I feel like some of my other body washes that I really love are super sweet but this eucalyptus is so fresh so I've been loving this and thank goodness I have a backup this is probably my number one favorite product from Necessaire it's it's just easy, minimal. Is it anything super, super amazing? No, it does have niacinamide in it. I do like the texture and the scent. <sighs> so calming and fresh. So shout out to Necessaire. Okay, my last skincare product is actually hair care. Oh, you guys, I'm gonna have to do a hair day with me soon. I know I keep saying that, but I need to do it. This is the Moroccan Oil Moisture Repair Shampoo. Now, the first time I used this, I was not sold. When I was in the shower, my hair just felt, I don't know, it felt like it didn't have enough slip and it was hard to work through my hair. 
But when I got out of the shower, my hair was so hydrated. So this is amazing. This is the moisture repair line. So it's for weakened and or damaged hair. Now, if you guys watch my hair routine videos, which I will link the most recent one down below, I like to treat my hair like it were damaged. I mean, I am relaxed, so I'm sure some of you would argue that my hair is already damaged, but I find that when I treat my hair as if it were already damaged, I can build up a lot more strength. This is expensive, but find it on sale. I will be purchasing another one during the next Sephora sale. I love it, love it, love it so, so much. The best hydration that I've tried of any shampoo, hands down. The scent is really nice. It's a little fresh and masculine. I don't necessarily love the way it feels when I'm applying it, but out of the shower, hydration overload. I love it. Okay, let's get into some makeup because as you guys can see, I've been having a makeup moment. And I have to give my girl AI the great credit because it is because of her. She's been sharing tons, well, she hasn't been doing tutorials per se, but in her videos, she's been wearing such beautiful, bright makeup and I was like, why don't I wear cute makeup anymore? I literally haven't worn eyeshadow all year. So I've been playing in eyeshadow and I love it. So the palette that I've been using all month is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Makeup by Mario Master Palette. Now this was limited edition, so unfortunately you won't be able to purchase it now, but any basic neutral palette with some shimmer tones will work. I have this really pretty shimmery lid on using the color Muse and Violetta and Isabel. I'll link a tutorial that I did down below. Love this and I'm back loving fun makeup. It just feels so nice to reconnect with my creative side. So thank you AI The Great for inspiring me because I am having so much fun. Okay, my next makeup product is actually the foundation that I'm wearing because like I said, it's been hot. It's been really, really hot. So I'm switching back over into my NARS soft matte complete foundation. I did pick up a backup during my Sephora haul last month, which I'll link down below. This is the best foundation for oily skin. It is super high coverage. Y'all know that I'm a high coverage kind of gal. I love it. It looks as natural as it can look, but it is also the most full coverage mattifying foundation ever. Now, I'm really, really oily. It's hot. I get sweaty easily. This is perfection. The only con is that it's really hard, not really hard, but this runs very light. So I take the shade Cadiz Medium Deep 3. And traditionally, I will wear the shade Tahoe from NARS. But if you can find a shade match, you will love this specifically for this season if you have oily skin and like full coverage. If you like a natural look, you're not gonna like this. But for all my cake face girls like myself, love. And speaking of oil control, Shout out to all my girls on YouTube, on Instagram. I literally can't name you all because it's basically all of you. Everybody raved about the one size setting spray so much. I purchased it last month and I'm obsessed. It works so well. This keeps me from getting oily the majority of the day. And if you've been watching my beauty content for years, I always say that nothing really keeps my oil at bay for a long period of time until one size beauty. I know why this is always sold out because it's so amazing. Now the only con is that when you spray it, it's literally like applying hairspray. Most people are not gonna like that, but baby, if you can get past that and, and hold your nose, cause you'll probably start choking. If you can get past that, you will love this. Your makeup will stay on all day. I did have someone recently ask me whether or not I like this more than the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and absolutely. This is more for mattifying. The Charlotte Tilbury is more for just locking my makeup in place and sealing it in and giving me a smooth look so that I don't look cakey if that makes sense. This keeps your oil at bay. I am gonna be doing some traveling. Well, probably when you watch this, I'm still traveling. I'm getting a mini size. This is perfection. The girls are raving about it because it's good. They're not lying. It's, it's really good. If you have oily skin, you need it. Just go ahead and try it. You more than likely will love it. Okay, my last makeup item that I want to share is this lip combo that I'm wearing right now. You guys have been loving it. And it's because it's all I've been wearing. Ever since Coco McQueen shared this lippy a few months ago, the GXVE Liquid Lipstick in Tomboy, I've been obsessed. I also picked this up last month in my Sephora haul and I've been pairing it with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk Intense. 
it just looks so pretty on your lips. I love it. I previously was not into like a bright nude lip, but I don't know. I'm loving it for this season. Sometimes I do top it with a gloss, but if you've been loving my nude lip for the past month, this is what I've been wearing. Now, GXVE liquid lipsticks are very drying. Most people won't like that, but I love the texture and the consistency. It's not thin or runny. Just make sure you moisturize your lips when you take it off for sure, but the colors, everything. Love, love so much. Once again, this is Tomboy from GXB. Okay, let's get into some miscellaneous items. I wanna talk about something tech. And that is my new vlogging camera. This is the Canon M50 Mark II. And I got this for my birthday because I needed a new vlogging camera. So if you've been following me for since December, pretty much during December, my old Canon G7X, I'm clearly a Canon girl, that camera broke and I've been camera -less. I got this for my birthday. Um, I asked for the M200. Somebody wanted to surprise me because the people at Best Buy were able to convince them that this was better. I got it and I was like, oh my goodness, it's so big, it's so wide, it's so clunky, and it is. It is a rather large vlogging camera, but after practicing with it and using it, I have filmed a few vlogs and taken a lot of pictures. This is a wonderful camera. It's not the most portable. If you're just getting into vlogging, you're probably not going to like this. There are definitely some things about it which I absolutely despise and maybe I'll review this camera. Let me know if you'd like a full review. But I did send it back initially, then I repurchased it and now I'm including it in the favorites, which means it's really good, but there's a learning curve. I don't think it's a beginner friendly camera. It's not the easiest to vlog with. It is a little heavy, but the quality is bomb. So yeah, shout out to Canon. I use a Canon T8i to film sit down videos and now I'm using the M50 Mark II. I love it. It's not perfect, but I love it. Okay, let's do some food miscellaneous items like food and kitchen. First, I want to talk about this dishwashing liquid, okay? Yes, dishwashing liquid. Shout out to my girl, Happy Stylish Mommy, because she shared this many months ago, and I was like, you know what? When I run out of my dish soap, I'm getting that. It's the Dawn Squeezable Dish Liquid. And let me tell you, sometimes it's these small things that bring you joy. Like, you know, cleaning is not something that I enjoy doing, but I have to do it because who wants a dirty kitchen especially? But the squeeze bottle just makes it so much easier. I don't know if any of you are a little OCD like myself, but my Dawn dish bottle used to always have soap all around the top of it where you flip the cap. I mean, I hate it touching it. This eliminates all mess. It never leaks out of the bottom you literally just hold it over your pot squeeze it and you're good to go it sounds silly that I like a squeezable dish liquid so much but let me tell you if you clean your house if you're a mom wife or someone like myself you're gonna love it it's the small things that matter I'm obsessed I'm never buying the traditional dish liquid again I don't care if it's 25% more it's worth it so shout out to that Dawn dish soap and shout out to Happy Stylish Mommy because we love it okay my next kitchen favorite is actually a food favorite and this is the Chick-fil-a creamy salsa dressing my friend told me about it a month ago I forgot to include it in last month's favorite so I'm including it now obviously I don't have it with me because it's in the refrigerator but y'all if if you like ranch with like spiciness, you're going to love this. Now I'm not a huge fan of salsa, but to me it doesn't really taste too salsa forward. It tastes more creamy like ranch and it tastes good on everything. If you make like Mexican inspired breakfast, if you, you could even put it on spaghetti. Yes I have and it tastes good. You can put it on literally anything. You can use it as a dip for crudite, but it is amazing. If you like ranch with a little bit of spice, you will like it. It is spicy. Um, um, I don't like salsa, but I love it, and I purchased mine from Kroger. It is delicious. Okay, for my last few items, let's talk about fashion and fashion. First, we have to talk about this beautiful bracelet stack. So for my birthday, one of the things that I got is this beautiful Christian Dior friendship bracelet and my bestie has one as well. Like, who am I wearing, first of all, a jingle jangle, because y'all know how I feel about a jingle jangle, but for some reason, 
This doesn't make too much noise and I don't mind. But then also she got us these custom made bracelets in a beautiful stack from my favorite jeweler by Dana Ashley, a black owned brand and a lovely, lovely owner. So I will link her website down below. She does take custom orders, but she also sells these bracelets in different stack options and they're beautiful. So I wear this every day. Who am I? Because I'm not, I'm not even this colorful, but here we are. I guess this is me and my new year of life. I've just been loving this so much and I've been sharing it on Instagram so much. So I would be remiss if I didn't share it as a monthly favorite and it's just so fun, love it. Okay, let's get into bags. First, I wanna share with you guys one of my newest luxury babies because I've, I've been I've been getting blessed lately we, we thank the Lord for blessings and it's my new mini Jody now if you guys saw my New Jersey vlog you would have seen this because I actually wore it with what I have on now I am obsessed you all know that the mini Jody is one of my favorite mini bags it's just so stinking cute I love it it's fun it's not functional at all it's way too expensive I don't suggest anybody buy them full price I would not yeah this was a birthday gift I love it love it love it it's so fun just a pop of color I also have have it in gray yeah I've just been loving it so this is my newest baby the pink mini Jody I was gonna do like a review but I literally have nothing new to say I still love it for all the same reasons and I still dislike it for all the same reasons I wanted this color the color is called ribbon it's so fun and yeah I've been loving carrying her around for the past two months okay and my last fashion item is my lululemon belt bag and shout out to my girl makeup handbags etc She's the first person that I think I saw ever speak about this bag and she loves it. The whole time I was thinking, I wonder is it gonna fit the plus size gals? So when Dove sent me their PR package, they actually sent over one of these as well and I've been obsessed. Now, I still have a little more space in mind but I did wear it for my birthday weekend away and what I can say is that the more you wear it, it stretches out. So now I'll have even more slack, which is nice. But it does fit around my waist and over my shoulder like a crossbody. Inside you have two mesh pockets on one side and one mesh pocket on the reverse. And then on the back side near your body, you have another zip pocket. So do I think you need this? Yeah. Yeah, if you're active, if you're a busy mom, if you like to go on walks, hikes, excursions, anything like that, it's great. Obviously you can't fit a lot, but I do like it. It's just fun, easy, it's not super expensive. So if it gets messed up while you're out and about having fun, you won't be too worried about it. I love it and I'll probably get it in some other colors. So shout out to Lululemon for this. It's a great bag. If you're plus size, you can wear it. I would say this can probably fit up to like a plus size 20, but it's a really, really great option for being active outside and I love it. So guys, that's all I have to share with you today for this monthly favorites. I cannot believe it is almost August. We're not okay. This year is just going by so quickly and I have so many things planned at the end of the year, but I'm not ready. I still wanna enjoy summer, but you know what? The quickly summer goes, the quicklier it'll be cooler outside, so we embrace that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want anything else reviewed or talked about more in depth, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.